when making your canopy um, there is a an area which uh, is designed to take a little button magnet um, and the technique for putting these magnets in is to mix up some epoxy and put it into the hole and then put the button magnet into the epoxy and using a wooden implement not a metal implement obviously because the magnet will stick to it uh, sort of bury the, the magnet in the glue and then scrape excess glue off and put some masking tape on the top in order to hold it in position and um, until it's set then once it's set uh, put a, a block of Depron uh, sort of stuck to the front uh, front of it which so so that it sits into the into the uh, cockpit hole really nicely so that sort of sits just behind there and then what we're going to do we're going to attach a couple of coffee stirrer uh, pieces of wood little prongs sticking forward so we can hook that underneath and drop it in and of course it needs a magnet on here so how do you create the magnet on here well what you have to do is once this is dried you put some masking tape over the top of it and then stick a magnet to it like on this one here um, and then you carefully position it where it should be so looking at these these creases in the design here which goes over the, over there and, and that uh, should just about touch from memory just about touch the uh, the nose cone so you align it centrally so from above like this, that's it, and then put your thumb, wiggle it around, press down. What we're trying to do is indent the, uh, the magnet into. What I'm going to do now is use a knife, and here we go, and just I'm just going to dig it out so the, the edges of the, of the hole flick it in. sort of scoop it out as best as you can until we have sort of a recessed pocket for the magnet to lay in. So let me get the magnet and see how it fits. And there we go, it's pushed in and it's pretty flush. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, but it's, with magnets it's important to get the polarity. Um, so I need to make a note that this side of the magnet goes into the uh, into the pocket. So I have to be very careful when I glue it in, otherwise they'll push each other apart, which is the opposite effect of what we're looking for. Okay, so I've mixed up a bit of epoxy on a piece of cardboard with scrap, it doesn't need much, just a drop. So I'm going to put that into the pocket. Make sure it, make sure it has a good bite onto the foam good grip into the phone and put a bit more in sort of fill it up a bit and then I'm going to take the magnet carefully remembering that it's the side attached to my finger not my thumb and then without any use of any metal objects I'm going to lay it in to the into the glue and then using a wooden object squishing it down into the hole all the glue is coming out the side, that's okay. I'm now going to scrape a bit, a bit of the epoxy away. And I'm now just going to put a couple of pieces of masking tape over the top of that. So that's now, that's now done. So now to wait for a good 10-15 minutes until that's fully cured. It is five minute epoxy, but it does vary according to the temperature and, and the humidity of the air. So I wait 15 minutes to make sure it's good and set.